We're wrapping this up. We're about to go to chapter five, which is an awesome chapter, human leverage. I can't wait to get there. But here's an important factor. Here's the icing on the cake. Here's where I feel that you're gonna go a mile deep and an inch wide with your team to get maximum results of implementation. Risk go a mile wide and an inch deep and just get the minimal results with your team. I was told by a mentor once that, uh, I still laugh about it to this day. He said, Wally, I have forgotten more things than you know. Wow. Chew on that. The most successful people that we all look up to have forgotten more things than we know. That's pretty darn deep. And if you gloss over that, I am really sorry. What I want you to understand is there's so much wisdom out there and we got to stop thinking we know everything. We got to stop thinking that our way is the best way. We got to stop thinking that we're going to build a business off our grit, our, our hustle. You're like, we're the best. We're going to go take the hill. You've got to learn how to build a business off wisdom. If you build a business off wisdom, your team will follow you. They will follow you because they see it's that you are an easier path to succeed versus them trying to take the hill by themselves. I'm in Dallas, Fort Worth, super competitive city. I've got six amazing loan officers on my team that do over $200 million in loans in a year. I've not lost one that I didn't want to lose. If that makes any sense. But this biggest thing I want you to understand is my teammates have stayed with me for seven, eight, 10, 11 years and kept on growing me because they see the wisdom of how, to, how the opportunity that I've learned to provide for them to do business easier, better, faster and smarter by my systems, my models, and my technologies. That's where we're gonna lead off next, but the biggest thing I want you to understand, you gotta go a mile deep and inch wide. I've shared this with you before, I have to share it again. The power is in the question, it's not in the answer. John Maxwell wrote a great book, something along the lines of great leaders ask great questions. And when I learned that, I figured that there was a lot of improvement I needed to have around asking great questions. From there, what I also learned is how to structure my morning where I had a morning affirmation that helped me ask great questions. Please write this down because this has changed my world. First of all, my questions are piercing. Gotta be a great listener to, have, to ask great questions. My answers are motivating. I have to have solutions and I have to be able to be creative and they have to understand that, that I believe in them. So questions are piercing, answers are motivating, which makes my presence commanding. My presence being commanding is not like, I'm so much better than you. My presence being commanding is they be magnetic and wanting to be around me and wanting to be in my world, which makes my success untouchable. The pinnacle in mortgage is to do $100 million in a year. To be able to do $200 million in doubling the pinnacle in mortgage, and having quality of life, 20 plus weeks of vacation a year. I don't know, you might do better than me. Kudos to you and what can I learn from you? But I think it's pretty dang good. So when I say my success is untouchable, I'm not saying I'm better than someone else. There's so many other people that are better than me at their role or better than me as a loan officer, better than me as a leader. But in my mindset, I need to feel I'm the best with the tools that I have. So the power is in the question, not the answer gets me in the right mindset to go be curious. When you're curious in a conversation, you're speaking them to understand, not to be hurt. I wanna talk empowering your team. And I love the word empower. Two reasons why I love the word empower. And you're gonna hear this a lot. One reason why I love the word empower, it just makes me feel excited to live. Another reason I love the word empower, my name is Wally Illibury and it's got W-E in the initials. And when I say that word empower, it empowers me to be better. That's been the culture of our team. So as I built a foundation in my team, and I built the, I built the basement, I built the foundation, but I built the foundation so deep that I can build the Empire State Building on it. As I built each teammate, and as I launched Team Wally University in 2013, Team Wally University came in as a college graduate, learning the mortgage business for six, seven months, then becoming a loan officer assistant for two years, then becoming a production partner for another two years, then becoming a loan officer and a senior loan officer and a production manager, which take a look at that course and hopefully it helps you understand how I built my team. But what I want you to understand is every teammate, for them to graduate from being a loan officer assistant to being a production partner, they have to train the next teammate that's coming in behind them. 
So the 30 day window of their six months that they're in that role from a loan officer assistant to being a production partner, I had recruited, I had brought in talent that they are now responsible for training. I stopped having to train each teammate coming on for the last decade. Each teammate, if they wanted to earn their promotion to the next level on my team, which grew their income to grew their wealth and grew everything in their life, they had to train the last previous teammate. What was so great about that, not only gave me my time back, but it also top graded our team because I can't be a great loan officer assistant today like I was 20, 30 years ago. I can't be a great production partner today because I'm at a different level in my career, but they can. Your teammates, your top teammates are better teachers to the next teammate coming in that us are as leaders. So what I want you to understand is you by empowering your team is building that foundation and building that culture within the team that each teammate builds on the next teammate. And that's where you get some massive success. All right, I can't wait to go through the next chapter with you. Human leverage is one of the biggest keys that really helped us grow. See that.